Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to XCOM 2, where last time, we conducted a successful raid on a crashed UFO, but honestly, the real victory was that in doing so, we killed the snake poke, meaning today, oh, we have got some big important stuff planned. Number one, I've got to solve the mystery of this terrifying murder ball. Number two, I've got to turn the snake pope into a hat. And number three, if the stars align, we're going in to stronghold number two. So in which case, everybody forward, let's see what we've got. Because yes, we're starting off with a nice simple mission here today. Not that many enemies, one relay needs to be destroyed, and I've got full visibility of the entire field. So, okay, this should not be too difficult to take care of. Okay, we're in position by group one, and I do like opening up by, yes, just grenading the entire group, and also destroying their cover at the same time. That's just always a good time, so, uh, one little plasma, and, okay, so that's your armor gone, and also some of your health gone, etc, etc, magnificent. So, okay, Archon charges up forward, a robot is just right there, so, uh, okay, you're also overwatching, was that? Right, 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 right. I want this Archon dead, because Archons are scary. So, Alpha, you just, yeah, barrel straight through the wall, and then take a nice... How on earth is that 71%? Okay, that guy better have a lot of dodge on him, because otherwise, uh, this is just embarrassing, Alpha. You're letting me down. Okay, bare minimum, you did get him. Good job, I suppose. So, okay, he's now Battle Frenzy, but that's fine. He is not going to be alive to Battle Frenzy me. All right, because we're just sending in... No, 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 not you. Okay, right here. Get up his ass and just sort him right there. Beautiful. Well done. Now, Stig, I'm pretty sure you've got the, yes, special ammunition on you, so... Move to here, if you'd be so kind. And now you should have, okay, 12 to 14 damage. Shame the accuracy isn't, you know, perfect. But robots just seem to come with some dodge. So if we're lucky... There we go. Beautiful. Just to take him straight the cock down. Lovely. And I just moved you next to the guy who explodes when he dies, didn't I? I'm really sorry about what's about to happen. Right, get everybody forward if you'd be so kind, and yeah, let's just open fire on you, 85%, a little bit of light damage, and our visiting guest, Bernadette Bernard, how about you have a go too, because you can do like double the damage of a skirmisher, which is just embarrassing for the skirmisher, and uh, did I just explode? Now hang on, okay, Stig picked up the stock. But I think he's still at full health, isn't he? Hang about, you are. You are as well? Brilliant, the wall took the impact. Okay, now same trick again, though. On this occasion, yeah. Two snakes, one Archon. This should not be the most difficult thing in the world, so... Alright, that's... That was not who I meant to send forward. Where's the chappy I was actually going for? Sandra! Okay, plasma grenade or rocket launcher. But, hang up. About. That's going to be in... That's in range of everything. So, okay, that's all your cover and also some good damage. So, okay, when you've got full visibility, yes, the whole thing becomes a rather a fun time. Just explode, get the first hit in. There's a whole bunch of damage. And straight away, Bernadette pops up. Love your hairstyle, by the way. That's marvellous and does it even more damage to this guy. So, okay, you are all absolutely flipping screwed. Okay, Santa, you are up first. Basically, get in over there. Take out that bastard. Well done. Oh, the katana. The katana is good. Also, okay, hang on. Now I'm curious. If I was to use Implacable to move you into melee range, i.e. next to this guy, will you kill him immediately? Is that how that works? No, it is not. Okay, I need to learn how, yes... Blade Master works, because it is not entirely how I think it does. But yeah, everybody else now should be pretty bloody easy picking. Okay, snakes go down. Next up, from here, having destroyed the wall, we can start picking apart this thing without even needing to go near the terrifying ball of death. Beautiful. 
And if we're lucky, the professor might be able to. Nope, low damage roll. Okay, well, this thing's definitely going down. There's no way it's surviving this nonsense. So, okay, you know what? The kill could go to the skirmisher. Poor old skirmisher, who I keep, you know, completely ignoring. I wonder where Mox is, by the way. I hope Mox is happy wherever he is. Probably not, because he's in, you know, prison and... Right. I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited until, yes, the enemies were dead. Because now I'm guessing reinforcements are going to keep piling in forever. Until such time as, yes, I'm ready to go. Which I won't be ready to go until the ball gets taken out. I've just made a tactical error there. Okay, bare minimum, we can set a massive uh, Overwatch trap for these losers. Okay, bring in the reinforcements, and that's one, a lancer, one... Oh, and one large robot. Okay, not bad. That's a shield bearer as well, but seriously. You guys are about to walk into a lot of cocky trouble. That was a graze, that was a hit, and... Okay, do we just basically all miss that one guy? Because that is embarrassing. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic readings. Okay, it's a psychic ball and it does not care about walls. Okay, it's significantly close to me than I was expecting. And now, now there's two... Uh-oh. Okay, I thought this was going well, but potentially this is going not as well as I thought it was. Sandra basically nuked the bastards. So, okay, that there, that's a good starting point. Lovely, well done. Though, John, did you just activate double battle frenzy? Oh, um, okay, this is, this is fine. I'm sure this is a-okay. All right, this is not going to be a problem. Okay, Stig, old buddy. This might be a good time for, yes, you to basically do the same thing again. Okay, just keep firing grenades into that cluster. We'll take them down sooner or later, at least get them down low enough that... Does anybody have cereal present? I don't think you do, actually. That's maybe a bit of a problem. Okay, what we do have, though, is capacitor discharge. So that is... Uh, oh, that's the same radius as a grenade. And it's going to be super effective against that robot. So, okay. That should be... Yes, Lance dead. Robot surely dead. And those two guys disorientated. Okay, we're just putting enough firepower over there. That's going to keep us going for now. Alpha 6, activate overdrive, right, then reload, and then I want you to take out both of these bastards, if you'd be so kind, though, possibly. I mean, you've got your flamethrower. Hang on. Could you flamethrower both of these? That's way more reliable, and apparently it doesn't hit friendly targets, so... I mean, honestly, why not? 6 9 damage. Let's cocky go! Flamethrower, activate! So everyone just get your head down, and... Okay, Rainmaker, nice and dead. Right, we've taken out most of them. And then if we're lucky, you might even be able... 60% then damage roll. Come on, Alpha, for once be... Never mind, he wasn't competent. Okay, bare minimum, yeah. My Harbinger friend can do a lovely grapple attack, so you're definitely going down to melee, because it's all about the melee at the moment. Well done. Okay, that's the entire field clear. Apart from the mysterious ball of mystery. So, okay. Does anyone know what we're supposed to do to the mysterious ball of mystery? Okay, you know what we are going to do. We're going to send a sacrifice forwards. Bernadette, I am so sorry about this. Okay, we need to get the armor off it. Who can get the armor off it? By the looksy of it, yes. Yeah, Santa might be able to do a little bit. But really, I wouldn't mind stick because... Is that thing a robot? I mean, it kind of feels robot-y to me. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, yes, an extra turn to Stig using combat presence. It's one of the things you can do. So uh, he should now get like an extra... Doesn't have his gun ready to go. Well, this is all just highly embarrassing that he was the person I decided to, you know, give the extra turn to. Brilliant. And now he can't cocky do anything. Right. What we should do, though, is, yeah, get you into position, though. We could just straight up attack you with a sword. I mean, it bypasses armor. We're going to give it a go, damn it, because if it tries to move away, we'll just get another Blade Master. So, okay, we're attacking the terrifying mystery ball with a sword at this point. That's good. And, I mean, open fire on it. Maybe you'll get lucky. I don't know. Here we go, and... 
Okay, complete miss, despite the fact it's literally a giant target. Now, what precisely are you going to do? There's Bladestorm number two. Okay, Bladestorm is so dumb, and I love it. Oh, what the cock is it doing? It's, it's doing things. It's got tentacles, psionic tentacles, and... I think it just brought its friends back to life. Okay, bare minimum, these guys appear to be, yes, very easy to take out. So, you, buddy, that one's a bit more in cover. So, just grab him, pull him over, give him a damn good stabbing, if you'd be so kind. He's not going to, like, burst or anything, is he? Okay, he's not bursting. That's good. And then you can honestly just, jam, yeah, keep firing it if you want to. And you're not going to get the kill, but screw it, why not? Right, Alpha, kills up to you, and honestly, these guys have got, like, a no dodge. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Can you just basically move in and hit him again? Because, okay, I'm so sorry I slept on melee for a while. Because melee, especially with this thing, is so cocky amusing and... Okay, so it self-destructs. I wounded her at the end. Basically, good job, me. Okay, few people need a couple of days in the infirmary, but honestly, not the biggest problem in the world. Instead, uh, okay, stick, buddy. You're getting a hollow targeting because, uh, yeah, 100% you are the gunner. So as a result of that, yeah, for the first time, we can now start targeting a particular enemy, making them easier for everyone else to hit, which is potentially really bloody useful. And uh, Alpha, you've got either Intimidate or Wrecking Ball, so... Okay, when targeted by an attack enemy has a chance to panic, the higher level the spark is, the higher the chance. Again, I would like to know the numbers, but unfortunately the game is not sharing. Or alternatively, when overdrive is active, you can just break through cover. Okay, that just sounds way more hilarious. We're having that. And apparently that thing was a gatekeeper. So, okay. It has a shell that's really hard and shieldy. Then it's got some nice squishy tentacles inside. So uh, you've just got to break through the armor. So okay, four days we get ourselves the beam cannon. And that's a pretty major upgrade because, yeah, that could be two team members with a really high up plasma weaponry. In fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already improved beam weapons. So uh, it's going to be even further ahead than I'm expecting it to be. So... Uh, just do a little bit of uh, scanning. Who wants scanning? Honestly, not much floating around right now. So, uh, sure. That's precisely the amount of time uh, we need to take up anyway. You guys get on with that. Scanning these days is very fast. We've got an exo suit. Lovely. And keep on keeping on because in just a couple of days... Uh, here we go. There's... Uh, that really is not much intel. And poor John Martin did get wounded. But honestly, that's fine. Oh, you know what we do have, though? Over in Covert Actions, a Reduce Avatar Project. Basically, if that one shows up, do it. Because it's like two or three. And I get a free promotion out of it, too. So, basically, yeah, done. You know what, Stig? We want to get you moving in the right direction. This will be a perfect one for you. Do just bear in mind, though, yeah, we are dealing with a really high ambush chance these days. Send along Karen uh, just in case, and yeah, given the supplies, I do not want anyone captured because, uh, seriously, like, when people get captured, uh, we don't get them back again. But okay, here we go. Keep time moving on in just a second. Uh, when inspired, oh, the there she cocking is. The beam cannon. Oh, look at that sexy monstrosity. And apparently, the Viper King autopsy is only going to take two days, which is incredible. So, all right, buddy, have at you. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we have a problem, though, which is, yes. Before I'm allowed to use this thing, I need a lot more supplies, like a huge amount more supplies. Okay, I know where we can get some supplies from in a hurry. Well, one, finish doing the scanning as I'm literally right here. Marvelous. And two, yeah, black market. Okay, you can have a handful of Archon corpses, some chrysalid corpses too, maybe a berserker or two, a handful of robots and whatnot. There we go, one, three, three, I've already got 48, and uh, oh yeah, that'll flip it to the job. And uh, I shouldn't buy, I shouldn't buy because, John, you can't afford it. Don't even look at it, okay? It doesn't matter. You can't afford it. Don't even look at this. Stop looking at it, John. And there we go. One sexy beam cannon. 
Oh, flip me, Ted. Look at that thing. All right. That is a 10 to 12 damage. That is spectacular. Oh, and you know what, Ted? I'm giving you a superior expanded magazine on that thing. So, oh yeah, that's better. Now that thing could be fired at seven times. Okay, I'm going to be honest. At this point, I just want to know what's going on with the Viper King and what it's about to give me. So, um... Right, we're just snipping over to Skirmisher Headquarters for like a day. We're just going to visit the Skirmisher DIY store for like, you know, a handful of hours just until that's done. Because I cannot stand to wait any longer. Holy cock me. Proving ground project. Serpent suits. Oh, and this is just meant to be. They just picked up the inspiration for the Storm Gun. Okay, well, okay. You guys just get on with that. That's just art. Oh, everything's working really nicely. I'm about to have... Uh, holy cock me, I'm actually going to turn it into a hat. I was joking, but apparently that's a thing. Right, I don't care you're working on the lab right now. Seriously, does not matter anymore. Get working on my serpent suits. But you know what? I think we are ready. It's finally time. We're going to Chosen Stronghold number two. I am not letting them get to the next supply drop. Because if I do, I'm pretty sure the Warlock picks up yet another benefit. But before we move in, we've got to make sure we're bringing the right team along. And unfortunately, yeah, this guy's weak to skirmishers. So that's not what we need to do. Instead, focus on Bewildered. All right, Concentrated Fire absolutely knackers the guy. So, okay, 14 enemies and then presumably him and whoever he teleports in to reinforce him. If it's anything like the first stronghold, uh, priests, shield bearers, uh, heavy mechs, lancers, archons, uh, mostly humans, a uh, handful of monstrosities, uh, maybe a robot or two. But honestly, yeah, not going to be that many. Let's cock and go. Obviously, Cameron's coming in. Cameron leading the charge. He's team leader. We're sending in John, who's going to be our primary healer, which is absolutely magnificent. Ted's coming along as our main gunner too. Even though he's immune to melee, I do not think it would be a bad idea to bring in one ranger anyway. I am very tempted to go for Elena, simply because her scouting is really, really bloody good. And she just come with two pretty damn strong grenades for free in the form of her mines. But the thing is, she just cannot do the damage. Elena just doesn't bloody hit. And here's the funny old thing, which is, yeah, Martina actually can do the same job. She can reconceal. Fine. She can't, you know, sneak around as effectively as Elena can, but she can still reconceal and at the bare minimum get the drop on a couple of enemies. I feel like we're going to leave Elena behind. And as tempted as I am to bring Shark, yeah. The problem we've got is uh, he hits hardest with melee. And when it comes to the Warlock, melee doesn't do anything. Meaning, I think we're going in with a flipping double exosuit demo experts. And then the question is, do I want Tabby for additional, yeah, sniper firepower? Or do I want Claire for additional healing? And I think the answer's Claire. I think Claire should come along because, yeah, Claire can also give extra bonus actions to Cameron and vice versa. So, yeah, I think that's the right way to play this. Cameron's got the accuracy rounds. Martina's got the crit rounds. Okay, now this. This is a bloody powerful team. So, okay, we know what we're doing. We don't have Elena. That means, yeah, we're relying on Martina to be doing the scouting. So, uh... As we're not starting off and nice and concealed, uh, Martina, go invisible. And now, you're leading the charge. Alright, figure out what's going on in all these rooms uh, and pass information back to your team. Pretty confident room number one is empty, though uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stay empty. I remember the last time I was here, enemies 100% are willing to, like, you know, uh, open doors. Speaking of which... Cracker open. Alright. I think it looks like the layout is very similar to what we saw last time. Oh, hang on. We've got movement coming into this room. And... Okay, we've got some overwatches coming in. That's one priest. Miss on 69%. That is not nice. And... 
I'm sure we've got something else here. Oh, here we go. That is miss on 70 and miss on 95 okay great start team you've all kind of you know really started off by letting me down catastrophically i love it okay 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 but martina is currently still yeah very much still hidden that we might need to burn her stealth during this fight Step one, blow all cover between, yeah, me, the priest, the robot, everything. All right, let's just kick off this party and blow you guys to shreds. Yeah, take out the robot. The robot might do something nasty pertaining to, you know, firing a big explosives or whatnot. Ted, you're up next and you've got plenty of firepower too. In fact, just enough to knack a cocking everyone. Brilliant. So, okay. Just start laying down the fire. John, you're burning through grenades a bit fast here. I'm sure it's fine. These guys kind of snuck up on me a bit. This is what explosives are for, damn it. In fact, oh, flip me. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Cameron. Let's move already. If you move to here, how many people do you now have a shot at? Because, uh, well, one, you've got lightning a hand, so you could start doing some good work. That guy's about to die. You could well be about to die. That's 100% to you. So lightning hands are right there. Because uh, why wouldn't you lightning hands? And bloody hell, that was seven damage with a pistol shot. And now we activate face off. Because, uh, oh, this is time for Cameron to basically just become uh, the greatest badass in the history of the world ever. So dead, dead. Okay, that was a low damage roll because that was great. That's not your fault, Cameron. You did your best. Claire, this one's up to you. 95% unless you get a really unlucky graze here. Never mind. Okay. Group number one, taken care of. And uh, Martina is still concealed. So, uh, okay, don't open the door yet. Do it once everyone's back, you know, nice and in cover. Okay, everybody back in cover. Martina, crack open the door. And... Okay, we have got Spectre and Lancer. But are they aware of, uh, yes, Martina? Just checks. So I think until she moves, uh, they're not. Also, a uh, holy flip me. 100% accuracy. 12 to 21 damage, and it's got a decent crit chance. So basically, holy Three cocking heck. Right, so that's 655. Okay, so basically, who needs a cocking sniper rifle? And if we can take these individuals out without having to expose Martina, then all the better. So 65% right there. That's unfortunately a miss. Right, Claire, you've got a better angle. So you take a shot. Even with a graze, this might be a kill. And 11 damage, you're okay. Ted, do what you can to the chappy at the back. Anyone else who's still got a shot? Brilliant. That was a miss, unfortunately. Anyone else got anything else? No, that's literally it. So, in which case... I mean... If you were to go into Overwatch Concealed... This guy could, in theory, run straight past you. Or could open fire. You know what? Let's go for it. 50-50. It's going to, you know, lead to you being spotted. But, bare minimum, you have been... I'm guessing you've been spotted, Martina. Martina, are you okay? I'm feeling like the enemy... There we go. Gosh darn it, 11. We lost the world's slowest coin flip. But any chance, yeah, you might want to try and move. Because if you do... Oh, you did, and that means you died to Blade Master. Okay, Martina, you absolute cocky star. To think I once considered myself a part of your race. You seem so small, so narrow of purpose. You do not deserve the Elder's attentions. Okay, now that's interesting. I mean, we'd heard previously that, you know, uh, yeah, the Elders considered these guys were getting a bit too human uh, for their own good. Uh, but I kind of assumed that was like, you know, because they've been spending lots of time with humans. But by the sounds of it, these might not just be like, you know, aliens that have been humanified. These might have been humans that were alienfied. You see that there? That's proper science. And this room, okay, dead end. But bare minimum, those guys aren't going to come sneaking up behind me. So, alright team, let's start moving in this direction. 
Okay, we're at the top of that room I was just uh, fighting in, and uh, we're ready to, yes, move into uh, visibility of the next room. And... Okay. Nothing immediately. And this room's right at the corner of the map, so okay. Nothing in here. In which case, uh, this must be our destination on this side. Yet for any of us to survive, the elders must not fail. Humanity delays their own salvation. You must submit now before the true enemy appears. Okay, these chosen are definitely giving me hints of something here, which is, uh, yes, not only are they potentially formerly human, it changed somehow, but yeah, they say the elders aren't the end game. There's something beyond that. Okay, room the next, crack open the door, and... Oh, cock me, that's a lot of stuff. That's, is that like four Archons? That's, that's so many Archons. Oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. That's a lot of cocky Archons. It's okay. This is, this is fine. This is fine and good. They're all standing next to each other. Just continue basically laying down a stupid amount of grenades on them. All right, six to seven can also get crits, okay? Just nuke this entire area. It's going to be fine. Grenade number one. Do you have salvo, by the way? Because if you do, presumably you could actually fire again, like a rocket launcher. Yes, you can. Good, 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 good. Though, uh, okay, basically I've activated everybody's battle frenzy. That was the thing that almost killed John last time, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Never mind, she doesn't have salvo. Ted, I'm pretty sure you do, so okay. Definitely grenade for all of these individuals, because you can do this and then you, I believe, can keep firing. So, okay, that was a crit right there. They're looking nice and vulnerable. Good, 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 good. So, okay, yep, yeah, there's Battle Frenzy, like, again. They're definitely getting stronger. So, okay, it's time. It is flipping time. So, yes, this tank doesn't cost an action. You, stay perfectly still. And no, 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 I need you to weaken whichever one has the most health. Oh, bloody hell, there are so many people here. That one, the one with eight. Do a lightning hands to you. Okay, I need you. Nice and weak, bloody hell, seven damage. That is ridiculous, and I love it. Cameron. It's time for you to basically start mowing them the flip down. Activate Serial Killer. So, okay. Basically, no, not that. That is the one thing to not go for. Okay, 98%. Activate Killer number one. All right, Spectacular. Well done. That gets you your actions back. Continue firing. Seriously, not at that. 92%. Cameron, I'm amazed it's only that, but I'm guessing these guys are like, you know, dodgy. And it's impressive just to have that. Serial killer, number three, right there. Here we go. 89% despite being even closer. Cameron, you can always count on bloody Cameron. And honestly, you kind of may as well go for... Actually, you know what? What's dead I look like? Dead Eye's only 69. So, yeah, that's that's not good enough. Go for the 92. Just get some damage on this guy. We're going to finish him off. Okay, I'm feeling way more in control than the last time I did this mission. Boom, well done. Okay, preparing to enter the next room and uh, I'm pretty sure I recognize that floor. Fancy swirling patterns. Uh, that means uh, ascension chamber. Crack open the door. Let's see what we've got. And uh, bloody hell, it's another four Archons. That is ridiculous, but fine. How about we just, just pop in and start firing at you, stupid losers. Let's just start, you know, taking away your cover, opening up the doors up for everybody else. And uh, if need be, yeah. Make sure that we have got Martina guarding one of the doors. Anyone who comes this way has to go straight through her business. Okay, John, you pop up and use your rupture ability. So, yeah, four-turn cooldown, but... You get this hint, this guy's going to be way more vulnerable to everything else. So, uh, bloody hell, crit 17. And he's also ruptured. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What we need to do is, Cameron, are you ready for... Cameron is ready for face-off. 
but he's also got fanfare available. So, okay, Cameron has basically just got, you know, an entire bag of ways he could completely murder everyone in this room. And Claire's got cereal too. She could do some good mopping up. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Have you got a good rocket launcher shot, Ted? Unfortunately, not the best, actually. That's not terrible, mind, though. Yeah, that would take out one of the ones that, that can already be taken out pretty easy. That I think I'm willing to accept. Go for rocket launcher, 4 to 7, right over there. So, uh, shoot the rocket straight through the door. Okay, now that was lovely. And if you can uh, land a follow-up strike on, yeah, the 8 hit point at the back there. The wall is starting to fall apart. 12 uh, goes down, lovely. Okay, what's left in there? Are we ready to do a serial sweep? Because there's still... Okay, there's you. But that's fine. Because uh, Martina hasn't moved yet. So, not you. Not you. You. Get Martina in there. And yeah, just basically hit you with the ridiculous slash. And now, it's kind of up to Claire. Claire might be able to empty this room. But then again, so can Cameron. I think between the two of them, this is sufficiently safe. I'm willing to send Cameron charging forward straight up. And Cameron now does, yeah, face off. And yes, I'm aware that's an ascension device. It's fine. Cameron, it's time for you to be a ludicrous badass. So basically, murder number one. And then murder number two. And then, okay, Cameron's such a badass. The game can't take it. The frame rate is collapsing. It can't deal with Cameron. Holy flip me, job done. The only downside is that we're kind of out of grenades. Ted's got the frost bomb. That's about it. I think possibly Sandra's got like one more, but that might be it. Oh yeah, I've literally got one rocket on Sandra, one frost bomb on Ted, and that is it. We are out of explosives. We've burnt them all. So, oh, that's maybe not like, you know, such a good thing. But everyone's healthy. We're in good shape. This has been going pretty smooth. Uh, let's make this happen. Okay, but we've got a bit more of an interesting, uh, yeah, area to fight in on this occasion. There's high ground, but the problem with the high ground is uh, the cover's not ideal. Though on the other hand, uh, yeah, we can't just leave camera at the back on this occasion. Uh, the platform would be in the way. So, okay. Probably best we start there. I mean, a high ground's never gonna hurt. Everyone forward, okay. nice and careful, step by step. Because, yeah, there's probably a handful of enemies uh, floating around. One elite spectre, one basic viper. Should not be too difficult to deal with. And what's his face? The warlock himself. He won't show up until, yeah, we're significantly closer. So, uh, finish off the babies first. Step one, screw you, you stupid bastard. Get over to him, hit him with the sword. He tries to move away. He now dies next turn, which is lovely. But if we're lucky, we can just finish him off with... Uh, hang on, Cameron, Cameron, Cameron. We need you, buddy, to maybe... Gosh darn it, just the snake. Okay, not a problem. Ted's got a really good shot. And seriously, his beam weapon is uh, doing good work right now. I feel like you definitely just shot Martina at least a couple of times, though. And Martina immediately grabs uh, a new core. Brilliant. More cores uh, mean more sexy toys. And Ted just got promoted. Okay, over on the other side, we're going to send Sandra against the snake. All right. First couple of enemies, not a problem. But right that's just the beginning. If this is anything like last time... Uh, oh, blimey. Sandra's just been promoted too. Okay, promotions for everybody. Yeah, if this is like last time, then as uh, soon as we actually activate him... Uh, the reinforcements start piling in. Step one, get him to spawn. Step two, take him out for the first time. Step three, take out the sarcophagus as the reinforcements start piling in. Oh, here we go. I think he's about to make his appearance. So, hello, Mr. Warlock. Lovely to see you. If only you knew the truth. The power in my hands. You would fall to your knees before me. Pity. I suppose we should begin then. Okay, now is there any chance he's got some new toys or tricks to play with? Alright, we've faced these things before and we can do it again. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. 
I think Cameron may have just panicked, by the way. Cameron is... Oh, hang on. Not just Cameron. We've also got Wright. That was Sandra. Apparently, I brought several people who are obsessed and or scared. And unlike the Yas, a lovely assassin, he can't disappear. So, hang on. Are we good, Sandra? Or are you actually down for the count for the time being? And... Nope, Sandra's just panicking. She's become obsessed. Whatever that means precisely. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Ted, gonna be needing you. Oh, Ted's in a terrible position. Ted's like really, really far back at the moment. That's, that's not ideal. The point is, however, okay. He's got three armor, 45 hit points. It's really not that much. But until we've taken off the armor, yeah, you can't do... I say you can't do that much. Fanfire puts him immediately into, yeah, bewildered mode. We might be able to just wrap this guy up actually pretty easily. Cameron is basically a machine designed to take him apart. The trick's going to be getting past the armor. That there, that's the issue. So, okay, no one else on the field right now. I know we can't melee, but you do have, like, the best shotgun in the world. 50-50 shots. So, here we go. That's the crit. Thank you, Talon Round. So, okay. He's been shot once already. And... Okay, he's recognizing his sister's weaponry. Marvelous. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Number one, you can just lightning hands. Because it kind of doesn't matter. It's not going to do much. Because it's not about that. It's about just landing a hit. So, okay. That's one damage. But at this point... Activate fanfire. So, oh dear. Oh flipping dear. Bewildered, bewildered, and more flipping. He's almost down. Okay, clap. Just to get up top. What have you got? I mean, capacitor discharge. Five to eight damage. Does that get bonus damage from bewildered? I don't know, but this should. So, basically. Oh, flip me. He's already okay. This is going much better. And Ted's not even around yet. Marvellous. Okay, Ted, just start, like, moving forward. I'm guessing he's going to start, yes, summoning some friends uh, momentarily. Sadly, it looks like we cannot... Hang on. I'm not sure whether we could realistically uh, one-shot him. But if John just moves into a good position, that will activate an overwatch automatically as part of what? Ever vigilant, I think? And holy flip, obviously, Cameron's not cocking done yet. Because why would Cameron be done at this point? Cameron might be able to trigger. Can he get the kill with Shadowfall? I don't know if he can. You know, that's that's questionable. So just do normal shot. One more shot, basically. Cameron's pretty much annihilated this bastard. He's on one hit point and John's ready to overwatch. Tactical analysis is also still present. Okay, he's brought in two priests. One of them's probably going to get shot right now. That's a 10. Very nice, John. Very, very nice indeed. The bonus to beam, bonus to plasma, bonus to everything. And now he's going to start bringing in reinforcements. But honestly, like at this point, what are you going to do, buddy? You've been absolutely cocky, humiliated. Mainly because you decided to live... In a room that's got, like, you know, high ground that you gave to my sniper. Okay. He started to go into, yes, a mode where I think he can't be hit, unfortunately. Obsessed has been removed. Uh, Cameron. Looks to me like you can hit, basically, all these individuals. Pretty much. So, if he does fanfire, he's going to hit around the room. That guy is definitely currently hidden, right? Hang on. Let's just make sure we know that first. Steel. Double check here. Yeah, he's basically stasis himself, hasn't he? Right, in which case, this is why we bring the sword along. Because, uh, yeah, get over to the priest. That should get him down to like... What is that? Six, seven? Right, seven odds. Okay, team, let's split this up here. If we divide the task, we should be able to do it. So, John, you fire. You are now nine to eleven, which is ridiculous. So, okay. The Spectral Army is going to go down without too much in the way of difficulty. We need someone to finish off. Yeah, the priest. Then again, actually, do we? The priest moves away from, yeah, Martina. He just dies instantaneously, which I think is actually A-OK. -okay. So in which case, you get to 
here and just start mowing them down. Alright, so, ignore you. I'm pretty sure you're the easier to get to one. Focus on the individual on the high ground. I think Ted can get to the other. So, okay. Sweep up the small ones. His spectral army is not doing that much. Claire's also got, yeah, guaranteed shot over there. Beautiful. Okay. So, basically, yeah, his gambit was... Uh-oh. What's he doing? He's entered his own stasis, which is not what I was expecting him to do, but is kind of good news, actually, because uh, is he inside pistol range? And it turns out, yes, he is. Okay, so we're going to defeat him in the most humiliating fashion by basically shooting at everyone in the room simultaneously. So uh, he dies, uh, and he wasn't even the primary target. Like, you know, the bullet ricochets into him, or something. Basically, good night, you stupid loser. Okay. But the trick is now, yeah, this was where things actually got tricky the first time we did this, because now the reinforcements pile in. Okay, we're starting off on at 25%. That suggests I've got three turns, and we know more's gonna be coming in yet. So... Okay, Cameron is already fired, and what have we got left? Just Ted, and unfortunately, he's probably not got the best shot, 60-50-50. I mean, he could toss the Frost Bomb, but that seems like such a waste. Okay, Ted, take the 50-50, we may take a couple of knocks here, and gosh darn it. Okay, we're going to take some uh, light knocks, but we're basically pretty under control anyway, so... Okay, he is summoning a reinforcement. That's a chrysalid. Okay, this is... And that's 16 hit points. What is that, an officer? Okay, watch the officers. They do return fire. And they're going to be taking advantage of the high ground too. So, okay. We've also got you going to the high ground. Probably you're going to get a shot. No, you're going for mind control. And the target is... Who's going to be... I mean, good choice. Taking Cameron off the field. Absolutely, that's what you want to do. And you tried to run away. So basically, bad decision. And also, I get a free thing. So, okay, Martina, you just grab that. Lovely. And a promotion too. So, okay, that's PCS. Nice. Very nice. And a good little thing to plug onto the guns. Okay. Everyone's leveling up like crazy. What we need to do now is, yes, want to get Cameron back. Okay, camera on the enemy side is uh, unacceptable to me. Okay, Martina, step one. You take out the chrysalid. Uh, we need these guys to go down. But also, we need someone to be focusing on, you know, uh, taking out the sarcophagus. All right, that's fine. You're implacable. And we could also... We could move you right here. You won't get the kill. But if he tries to move, and he probably will, then you would get the kill. Oh, hang on. Claire's got the flashbang. That's the solution. That will break, yeah, the uh, psychic link. Flashbang disorientates. That means uh, can't maintain the link anymore. Good. Good, 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 good. So uh, who's next? Who's uh, flipping next? You get up there and basically, yeah, finish off at this stupid loser. And then next turn, you can start firing. So, okay. That's that person functionally dead. Meanwhile, I'd say probably for the best at this point is uh, you start moving forward. Your gun does a ridiculous stupid damage, though. Not if it's not loaded, it doesn't. Good. Good start right here. 50%. We've not done a thing to the sarcophagus. Okay, Ted, you've got a much larger, yes, clip in your gun. So at this point, yeah, you've got a guaranteed hit there. You've got 64% up to that guy. You know what? Take kicks. If you get that, John can finish him off. And 12. Lovely. Well done. Okay. This is this is all fine. And then John just moves up to here and opens fire. We needed to finish off these individuals because, yeah, next turn, that'll be where we start laying down the fire. Though if the Warlock does come back, honestly, I feel like we've got his number. And Cameron, yeah, take the shot. Though, to be honest, that's really not that much damage. You know what? Do it. Just flip it, do it. And uh, lovely. Seven damage. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Enemy turn, presumably. Yeah, we've got more spawning in. But what's spawning in is way nastier. Cocky berserkers are spawning in. Okay. The warlock's not messing. He is not playing around. That is... 
That's a lot. Please be something a bit squishier, if you'd be so kind. And uh, much better, like Elite or Advanced Priest or something. Okay. And you... Fascinating. You jumped down the stairs, but then came back to receive your spanking. Good. Well done, though. Cocking sustains. Okay, Martina. Just basically repeat that trick with the other one. Because Cameron can finish off that bastard when he, like, you know, decides to come out of his stasis pod. If he moves away, he dies too. It's time. It's cocking time. We've got to do... There is a cocking berserker right there, John. There is a berserker right there. If we can maybe two-shot him. We've barely done anything to the thing. If we can't keep up with the enemies that are spawning in, this is where it gets nasty. We've got to be able to deal with these bastards. We've got to keep up. Okay, Claire, you just take a shot down at the monster too. That's lovely. And then, yeah, Ted should have a, a clear shot. Hang on. John, 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 John. You get to here. Finish off at that bastard oh, if you would be so kind. That's him down. The priest is functionally dealt with. That means take an open fire. So we're starting to do something. But there's not a chance in a hell we're stopping him from coming back at least once. Bare minimum, Ted gets to have a good shot right there. So, 12 damage. Good damage roll. Well done. I mean, we've made a start on it. Bare minimum. And, uh, okay, then we've got Cameron. Cameron with Deadeye could do 9 to 12. Uh, or could pretty much guarantee the kill against this guy. You know what? Let's just get you down. I just want everyone off the damn field. Deadeye 10, are you about to do your stupid stasis thing? Yes, you are. Stop being sustained and... There he is. Okay. He's now back. He's also got the armor. Did we ever take out the armor? I don't know whether we ever took out the armor. And... Uh, okay. What precisely is your move? Okay, he doesn't do anything. As for you... You better not get an attack. Holy flip, he gets an attack. Well, that's just bloody cheating. So, okay. Sandra's out for the turn. That's fine, but... It looks to me like, oh, there's the blade storm. Screw you. That's what I was planning to happen all along. Okay. This is fine. Everything's under control. While he's on the field, he is not summoning reinforcements. And uh, we already know how to deal with him. Ted, destroy the armor. When I say destroy the armor, that's a frost bomb. I mean, it'll slow him down a bit. It's good enough. Okay, he's out for the count for the time being, and you get to keep firing because you are, in fact, a massive badass. So, we can't hit the sarcophagus unless he's in it. Okay, that's the rule. 66. I mean, it'll shred the armor by the looks of it, so if you get the shot, that will be good. And good. Armor's gone. That's going to make it even easier for Cameron to take him down again. Oh, and guess what's off cooldown? It's cocking fanfire. So, 18 to 30 damage with a good chance of a crit right there. So honestly, you know what? No, no, no. Screw it. Lightning a hands first up. Just remember, the entire point is uh, he's already bewildered. Oh, this is... This is the sexiest thing in the world. Basically, just open fire and just keep shooting him with a gun. 7, 6, 6. Massively bewildered. Frozen solid. He can just keep firing. Why wouldn't he be able to keep firing? Obviously, he could keep firing. You know what? Screw you. Because Cameron never stops cocky firing. No, Cameron missed. Cameron, are you feeling okay? Bloody hell. Okay, Platt, you finish off at that one. That guy needs to waste some of his turn at thawing. And what else do we have? We've still got Steel, who can probably, yeah, though she can't actually do anything related to, you know, the whole business with her sword, very sad indeed, she does have a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh yeah, back in the sarcophagus for you. Also, bloody hell, that just skipped straight up to 50. He got to start at 50. Oh, that's not fair. Okay, John. John, 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 John. Do not panic. Remember what happened last time we did this. As soon as it went down, then the fight just ended. Like, everyone else just agreed to, you know, shake hands and go home. The solution here might well be, basically, to say, screw all these enemies, concentrate all fire. There are only 41 hit points left in this thing. And I've now got all my heavy gunners in position. It's time. It's cocky time. We could take this thing down right now. 
Okay, there's 11 right there. We're doing a good 10 a go. All I need is four good solid shots. Ted, love your new gun. Sexy as anything, your new gun. That is just gorgeous. John, ignore the bazooka. I know that's not normally what we do, but you know, it's fine. So, 9 to 11. All right, you get a good damage roll and basically 11 good damage roll. Just eight. Anybody can do this now, I think. Flipping Martina. Why wouldn't it be Martina? All right, basically, good night, you stupid loser. Taken out with the other chosen shotgun. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. So... That, that, that's not ending the fight as it turns out. The fight, the fight hasn't ended. We've got to actually take out the ODR. Right, well, um, open fire on the enemies that are here. Going to be honest, I kind of thought that was going to win the fight for me. Turns out that's, um, that's not how that goes. Okay, um, Cameron, you just, like, come round over here. And I'm sure it's all going to work out fine, oh dear. Um... I feel like this is where we take some real bloody big damage. And there's our chappy. Unfortunately, yes. He's very, very not at full health. And... Okay. Cameron, once again, just, you know, proving his value. Gets one more good solid hit in right there. So, okay. He's over there. Berserk is going probably towards... Oh, blimey, that was... He missed a melee attack. Good. Good, good, good. This guy I'm scared of. His acid grenades are not fun. And this is about just like, you know, boot Claire or something. No. What's he doing to Claire? And it turns out it's... That's two missed melee attacks. Well, that's just cocky brilliant. Okay. Now. Now I need to take out this guy. Once he dies, that's the end of it. Okay, now Sandra has still got a rocket launcher. So, basically, yeah, get into a good high up position. And now, number one, let's shred some armor and potentially some cover as well. So, yeah, just one rocket launcher. Let's end this in a style. Well done. Well done right there. So, okay. He's definitely been a hit. The armor is not looking so good. And I know I said this before and it was a terrible idea, but this time I'm correct. It's okay to just charge forward and start shooting this guy. All right, and we want an accurate shot because he does return fire. So basically, clap. You just, uh, yeah, pop over there. One 100%, so he definitely can't return that fire. Lovely. He's not bewildered yet. I'm not sure whether Overwatch counts towards it. And I'm definitely not sure if, yeah, the rocket counts towards it, but... Bare minimum. Right now he's just standing out in the open. And Ted's new super advanced gun. This is fine. This should be this should be it. Ted, it's all up to you. Finish the bastard off. And bewildered shredded 20 critical. Down you cocky go. Also, how on earth did we do that without a single wound? Okay, now that, that was pretty smooth, actually. And a giant pile of promotions, too. Right, John, obviously you're our healer, you're getting restoration. Aha, that's where Rupture is that John got before Ted. That's actually the kernel perk for, yes, these lovely sexy bastards. So, Saturation Fire, which, yeah, basically attacks everyone in an area, also destroys cover. Which does seem pretty good. That does seem a really good use as ammunition. But then again, when Mox used it, it kind of let me down a lot. But on the other hand, that's Mox. Mox was a loser. That's why we never bothered going to rescue him. Okay, those are both really good. I'm going to take Rupture for now. But I may well just give Ted Saturation Fire anyway down the line. And Martina is our first ever ranger to get to Colonel. So, fire twice in a row. Or, Reaper. 
Oh yes, I've seen this before, haven't I? A devastating chain melee attack. It was, uh, yeah, Central who had this. So, uh, first melee attack can't miss. And then every kill subsequently, you get an extra action. So, uh, oh bloody hell. Well, obviously yes. And Sandra, she's just up to Major, so okay. That's why she didn't have Salvo. Because she literally couldn't have had it yet. But now she can, so that's fine. And obviously, more important than anything else, we've now got his Disruptor Rifle. Now, I don't know what class of weapon that is. That might just be like a standard rifle held by a specialist. But, I mean, it's gotta be good. Because the Assassin's weapons were amazing. Despite that though, yes, it was a tiring mission, so the A-Team is going to need to take a good week or two off to recover. And unfortunately, no amount of Infirmary or Templar Health Spa can speed that up. So, okay. For the time being, we're gonna be relying on the B-Team. So okay, I will say, mission accomplished, because it's four days till the next supply drop and the Warlock has been taken out. So, whatever ability he was about to pick up, we stopped him. And on top of that, just six days, uh, we get the storm gun. And then we get the warlock's guns. And don't forget, in the meantime, in just four days, uh, I get whatever the cock of serpent suit is. So uh, join me next time as I hand out the snake hat. It is going to be absolutely flipping beautiful. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been XCOM 2. Thank you very much and goodbye. I'm going to be honest, if it's Glasgow on a Saturday night, there's large amounts of violence and screaming and chaos. That's just normal. That's not actually the alien, sorry. But on the other hand, I have a giant flamethrower robot. Would you not like to potentially let me at least try that before pulling the funding and power? No! Okay. <laughs>